Yeah, Chris, uh, Monty said that that was a play that, that, that you had and had ran before. Just curious, uh, how, how often has it been that effective where you get a, a game winning three out of it? Man, um, <clears throat> these are the benefits of having played for Mont before and playing for Doc, you know, uh, execution was one of the main staples. You know, playing for Mont, it was like that. Playing for Doc, it was like that. So that's a that's a play that uh, we used to run for JJ Redick a lot of times. Um, me and Mont after the game was talking about another like variation of that play, but uh, it's just growth for our team. You know, we we always talk about the importance of execution, right? Executing and understanding that the game is never over, and um, you know, Book made the shot, but I got to go back and look at it. And I'm sure DA set a great screen, but everybody has to do their part in order for a play like that to happen. And just a quick follow, um, you talked about building and building and, and, and stacking wins and, and how, how nice was it to build and get a win out of a game that could have easily lost there at the end with the way the ball was bouncing late. Yeah, man. Um, it was like a movie, that shot, because, you know, that's like the shot Luca hit in the bubble. Uh-huh. And uh, I was telling the guys in the locker room, I don't know if I can ever retire because um, the emotional roller coaster that you go on during the game, like for real, for real, like there's no high like that. The energy, you know, when you're pissed and mad and then to, you know, the joy of winning the game. So um, it's, it's really nice to get a win like this, that with this group of guys we got. Next is Kellen Olsen with Arizona Sports and then Tim McMahon. Hey, Chris, uh, how would you assess the team's defensive performance over the course of the game? Uh, Man, thank goodness Book made that shot because I'm going to be all over film for all the box outs. Um, Benny Smith stayed crashing the boards, stayed crashing the boards. And, um, you know, I don't know how many second chance points they had, but it was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. hit a three while we was up two towards the end. So, um, that's stuff that we still got to clean up. You know, winning a game, we'll try to cover that stuff up. But I know I got to be better on uh, on the defensive end. Next is Tim McMahon with ESPN, followed by Brendan Clean. Chris, you know that's book coming off the screen. How much confidence do you have when you're delivering that pass that he can knock that down? All the confidence in the world. <laughs> uh, man, we play shooting games every day, every day. Me, book, Jay Crowder, and usually campaign. We shoot every day and book man he we talk about it him clay thompson it's a few guys in this league who have the same looking shot every time and when i you know spend and new book was coming there if you just look like i could see him and his his eyes were huge you knew he wanted the ball and it's a big time shot but and one and one more thing rick carlisle said they knew they had a foul to give they were supposed to give that i know you know all those situations is there, you know, or is there something you're able to do there to, to not allow them to get that foul? Um, shoot, I should have known that. I didn't even know that. I mean, we we lost a tough game like that against um, Denver. You know, we had a foul to give too. So uh, I think we just executed. Final two questions are going to be Brendan Clean with Forbes and then Landon Buford. Hey, Chris, you know, book, book hit that shot at the end, but you had the jumper falling as well tonight. Would you say you're where you want to be in terms of, of physically and being able to get to your spots, score the ball the way you want to right now? I feel good. Um, um, you know, the, the game is actually easy, you know, especially the way the league guards, you sort of know what's going to happen on a nightly basis. Um, I think, uh, me and DA are getting in a better place of understanding the angles of the screens and understanding, you know, where to get to and what's, what not. I mean, it's nice to make a, make more shots than you miss. And uh, I think that'll, that'll continue. But I mean, off nights happen, hopefully less than other ones. Final question is going to be Landon Buford with Forbes. Hey, Chris, um, I just wanted to get your opinion on some of these partnerships that uh, the NBA is doing with, with the players and then also where can some of these people get, um, I guess, access to some of the, uh, the uh, resources to, uh, for, for helping as far as the uh, HBCUs, as far as scholarships or any other incentives that you guys are partnering to help people in the um, people of, of color in the community and things of that nature. 
talking about the NBA? NBA, yes. Uh, I, I, you know, I can speak for me personally. You know, okay. uh, I, I've been trying to do a lot of things for uh, HBCUs, uh, for kids, um, you know, of, of color as far as financial uh, literacy and all these different things. And uh, we announced today that um, our show would the undefeated in ESPN plus um, why not us following North Carolina Central and Lavelle Moten starts on February 12th. So I'm really excited about that. Just talking about the importance of HBCUs and, um, you know, why, you know, they're, they're a cornerstone of uh, our black history. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.